That shit, man. That's that's. That, that. <laughs> somebody was saying, "Oh, Sony should have never gave them the IP," and somebody corrected them. Was like, "No, it's not their IP. They it's." Like they probably helped in the funding. It's a second party game, but Sony should have looked at that shit and was like, "Nah, bro. Like, make this multiplat. We got enough. We got enough exclusives to where and you know, and this is dropping the same day as Dragon's Dogma, which you know, Dragon's Dogma has issues of its own, but still." Oh, 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 I, I think it will. I, I, I don't want to think if. I don't even think if is is the question anymore. I, I, it's this is. I'm I'm. I'm I, nah, I'm just. I'm gonna defer to you because. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but I, you, nah, you, now you, you, now you try to go overboard. You try to make it seem like I was, I was capping for this, like I was ribbing or something. Nah, nah, I, I thought they would be a fun game to play. Yeah, nah, no, absolutely not. Mm. Mm. I, I thought it would be a good game for us to play together. It wasn't, uh, I don't think I was like, I'm getting that. What did I say I was getting that day one? Oh, all right, let's go live in three, two, one. Let's unmute. Oh, I, we are unmuted. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K of Cloud Dosage Geeks or Knock Digital Culture. You name it. We are there. And I'm here with your co-host, Cold Blood Sensei. What's going on, Cold Blood? How you been, brother? Hey, what's up? I'm good, bro. What about you? I'm good. What's up, people in the chat? We see y'all already. Thank you very much. We appreciate y'all. Oh man. Uh yeah, man. So we're here for a <laughs> we're here for a special show. You kind of probably heard my audio in the background. I was trying to defend myself against Cold Blood, who was slandering me. <laughs> he was like, no, you gonna go out here. You gonna talk about this jankiness that we see. But man, we'll, we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, man. Uh we're here to talk about Rise of Rona. Okay. Um, this is going to be the first time that the Cold Blood and I do this. Um, this is what we call a, uh, a, a Metacritic, Metacritic watch, I guess. Uh, and we're we're going to be looking at these scores. We're going to be talking about some things. And we're going to be deciding live on air, which I don't know. Our minds are probably made up already, but we're going to be deciding live on air if this is the best way for us to utilize the the the, the thanks and the kudos that you've given us in, in the channel by getting this game i mean well i guess well i was gonna say we we, we could put it up for vote but we, we got to be honest um i think ultimately you know we could come up with some suggestions but ultimately we gotta decide what we're going to do with the game because it particularly if it's something that we're not going to play we don't want to waste you guys' contributions but thank you very much for coming through um yeah yeah man <laughs> this is this is gonna be this is gonna be a lot of fun going over this game um do us a huge favor hit that like button share this out let everybody know that we're live uh so people can join in on the discussion too and if you haven't already go check the uh the description go go join that geeks discord 
um, because there's going to be a lot of uh, cool stuff that you, you meet some gamers, you play some games and gonna be some giveaways and stuff like that that we're going to be doing. Um, let's talk about a cold blood. Let me first do this. Let me go to the web and let's pull up Rise of Ronin right now on Metacritic right now. Rise of the Ronin is sitting at a generally favorable 76. Um, let's take a look at some of the reviews. Like, okay, you got a 95 from PlayStation Universe, Big Shock, right? Um, but let's go to Power Unlimited. Uh, Rise of the Rose Ronin isn't the dream entry into the realm of open world games that Team Ninja might have hoped for, but it delivers a very competent gaming experience. The open game world is completely dedicated to blood curdling combat. So there is more than enough to discover. Add to that Team Ninja's clear love for national history. <laughs> you get a, get some love on national history, Cold Blood. I um, mean, you have a wonderful piece of entertainment that also immerses you in an interesting historical setting. Okay, so that's that's power unlimited. Let, let's let's go down a little bit more. Uh, let's see what IG and Fran. Oh well, no, let's go down the Carol. I don't even know who the hell that is. No, we're not. Good. Holy crap! Let's go see some more reviews. See all critic reviews. Let's go down to. Um, let's see. Let's get. Let's see if we can find something in the eighties in the lower 80s. Cog Connected, okay. So they say Rise of the Ronin takes Team Ninja's formidable combat system and lets it revel in a large open world. Swinging your blade has never felt better due to the number of options available to annihilate your opponent. Even though it follows the expectations of the genre and the visuals are mixed, each step in the feud Japan, feudal Japan is exhilarating and it pulsates with the spirit of the samurai. Okay, that's so that's Cog Connected. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Let, let, let's get something in the seventies. I, I, hardcore gamer. I, uh, yeah, that's that's what I think of hardcore. Here's what your gamer had to say. Your gamer gave it an eight out of ten. They said as a Sony published release, Ronin isn't quite Team Ninja's Elden Ring, even if it does evolve its Neo-like formula with the help of existing open world formulae. Still, while it's been great to witness the renaissance of Japanese games these past few years, there's something special about seeing a Japanese developer stepping up to reclaim the AAA open world samurai game for itself, especially one that cares more about being a video game than a Kurosawa film. I had saw something too where, I, don't, I believe it was Eurogamer, they criticized the visuals. Uh, let's go down, let's go get something in the 70s something in the early 70s uh let's okay games machine 75 rise of the ronin is sort of an amusement park for samurai and open world adventure with an excellent combat system in which the abundance of activities could distract you from a compelling and well-told plot it's closer to assassin's creed than a souls like or one of team ninja's previous games it could have been even better if had it been less technically problematic Okay, all right, let's see. Now we're getting into the yellow zone. Uh, do I really trust digital trends? Okay, let's go to IGN. <laughs> Rise of the Ronin marries a cool historical setting. Team Ninja's mastery of tough but fair combat and some smart RPG design to make the game that is immediately compelling and even more fun with friends. It's full of cool little touches whether it's throwing something at an enemy with the grappling rope or dropping from your glider onto your horse. Unfortunately, it's also a game full of map clutter, bloated systems, and a truly absurd amount of junk loot. And the time I spent clearing out everything um, that didn't spark joy in dealing with all these non-essential systems made me pine for a leaner, meaner, more focused game. Rise of the Ronin is excellent when it has the courage to be itself and leaning into its challenging, rewarding fighting. Too often, however, it feels stuck in an indecision, torn between what it wants to be and it, what it feels it's expected to be. And not even the best samurai can overcome that. 
Okay, so that's that's IGN. Um, I'm curious on what GameSpot has to say too. Just curious. It's, it's not without some flaws, but I finished Rise of Roman, which with much more left to do. And even after 50 hours, I want to head back and to see what I miss and attempt to change history. Parts of the game that work more than balance out its weaker elements. And while it took a while to find a rhythm of Rise of the Ronin's combat, its speed, complexity, and intensity make for some phenomenal fights that always feel great to win. Rise of the Ronin is a game that might take a bit to get good, but the commitment is worth it. Hmm. Okay. But you gave it a 70. I, I don't know. It's just to me, 70 doesn't jive with what you're saying. I, I don't know. Uh, almost nothing in Rise of the Ronin is outright bad, but it, it, it is exhibit A in any argument about why action games are not dozens of hours long or why open world designs do not fit every mold. For all the inspiration that game wears on its sleeve and never rises above them and thus feels like a title in search of an identity and desperate for a specific kind of player, it's sometimes a good time just not for a long time now i can respect that that sounds more like verbiage for a 70 score like all these other people are saying all this stuff like the game is like maybe low 80s high 70s game informer what they're saying matches their score even though it's based upon their opinion all right let's go to someone who like completely dogs the game comic book 51. <laughs> comic book says rise of the ronin isn't necessarily an awful game it's one that is quite unremarkable when the project was first un uh, unveiled in 2022 i was ecstatic to see team ninja tackle the open world genre and was curious to see how the studio would bring its own unique ideas to the format instead virtually nothing that team ninja has done with rise of the ronin is enough to set itself apart from a growing deluge of games in the genre with so many other titles to choose from in this space, there are far better options that warrant your time and, and, and attention. Says comic book. Push Square gives it a 60. They say Rise of the Ronin isn't a bad game. It's something debatably worse, completely forgettable with dated open world design and monotonous narrative. The cracking combat of a Team Ninja title is left to try and pick up the pieces and manages to get the title an acceptable shape and with its bond system and culture clash just about forms and experience one could enjoy where it falls apart is the fact that the open world is so intrinsically linked to all these features and mechanics that it's impossible to find pleasure in them for any respectable length of time rise of the road is designed to attract a wider audience than teen ninja titles pass what they find might put them off for good hmm. okay VGC, Rise of the Ronin is, is a fine open world adventure that never elevates itself to greatness. Fun team ninja combat will drag you through, but pointless open world fluff and questionable visuals sadly result in just another open world game. Uh, Gaming Bold, in spite of solid combat and fun traversal, Rise of the Ronin is unfortunately Team Ninja's most underwhelming game in years. Uh, Uh, no, is there more? Continue. Checking compatibility. What the hell are they talking about? Okay, nah, we're not. We're not doing this. We're not doing this shit. Okay. All right. So, uh, that's what they're saying about Rise of the Ronin. Um, it's getting some praise verbally but it doesn't match the score, which doesn't make sense. I, I don't understand. Um, I can tell you from what I saw though, it didn't look that impressive. Um, what are your thoughts, Cold Blood, on what you saw? Were you impressed at all by anything you saw? I'll be the cuts. Yeah. <laughs> the the cutscenes are the only impressive thing uh, from a Team Ninja game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude. Like, And what I'm going to do, too, is uh, I know there's somebody playing the game 
Um, I think IGN is playing the game. Uh, I'm going to put their footage up here. I think we're safe because I got my um, my sticker up. So let's see if we can go to IGN on YouTube. Let's see here. Let's go to IGN on YouTube and see what they have. To, we'll see what Ron, it looks like. Uh, Wulong did not get saved on PC either. He said it would be better you can, on PC. You, you, you can get a better resolution, sure, but uh, if the game, the content of the game is dog shit, it does not matter where you play it. Uh, are they playing? Is that, you no, know, it's not iGym. It might be GameSpot. Somebody's playing this. Oh no. Somebody was playing it live. Hold on. Let me see if I can find. Maybe I bookmarked the link. Oh, it is IGN, but it's not live. Um, 16 minutes of Rise of the Ronin. Let's go back to IGN. Let's see their gameplay videos. It's a shame, bro. Here we go. Shame. All right. There goes Rise of the Ronin, folks. 16 minutes of it. We can talk while we're looking at this. Uh, yeah, man. Holy cow. I don't, don't, doesn't look impressive to say the least. Here, I gotta, I gotta move the thing over. For some reason, it didn't move over when I pressed it. Um, there we go. All right. So this is the game. It's playing in the background. Uh, yeah. You said it. it, it it's a shame. Cold Blade says Dragon Dogma Two or Rise of the Ronin. <laughs> says um, Ron Slusher. But which, which one is it for you, Cold Blood? You're probably gonna be surprised, but. I'm disappointed by both. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, there, well, I'm I'm seeing a lot of praise for uh, Dragon's Dogma. The people are just complaining about the 30 frames per second. That's what I'm persistently seeing. No, what what I heard from Dragon's Dogma is. It feels like a fucking remake of the first one, literally. Oh, for real? Like, like, like it's a retelling of the first one. Ooh. And if that if that shit is true, which I hope is cap, but if that shit is true, bruh, what the fuck? Like, why call it two then? Um. Then then remake the first one actually. Well, your homie, uh, ACG, I think he, he loves the game. He says, Dragon's Dogma 2, even with this poor city FPS, has a tangible and consistent feeling of discovery that is matched only by just how much damn fun it always is. He got 800, uh, uh, no, 800 plus, uh, holy shit, 800 plus hours in Dragon's Dogma 1. He, 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 he loves. You, you can put a lot of hours into Dragon's Dogma if you if you really enjoy it. I don't yeah, know I'm about eight hundred though. <laughs> I'm seeing uh, a lot of praise. Dragon's Dogma. I mean, I really wasn't checking. I'll be honest. I was checking for Rise of Ronin way more than I was Dragon's Dogma because that old fucking. 30 frames per second thing, man. I, I was not digging that at all. At all. Like, no. Nope. Hey, Sean. <laughs> What's up, Sean? What's going on, brother? Good to see you. Yeah, I was not digging that whole 30 frames per second thing at all. That turned me off. Um, But I was like, why the fuck is it so blurry? And then I realized I didn't have it at 1080p. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> 
But it still looks like dog shit. You know yeah, it still looks. No, and, and I had the gameplay at 720p. I don't know why it was at 720, but it still looks like dog shit. I put it up to 1080p. Still looks like trash. It, it actually it looks a little bit like uh, what is what this game that I played for for an hour on the Game Pass, uh, Wildlands or something. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! I remember. Yeah, that the first one you was. Yeah, that. Uh. <laughs> it almost looks the same, bro. <laughs> I mean, I, what what was Sony thinking with this? I, I, that is going to be well, the, the ne yeah. next uh, big thing or something. Yeah, I don't know where. That's the thing, though. I think it's getting attacked rightfully so why are they i hate ign man like they're gonna they don't they are so fucking corny and i gotta go somewhere else i forgot that they do that dumb shit they consistently put like clips from copyright shit in your in their videos because they think that because they, they think they're fucking 13 year old girls that do that shit so corny. Let me see if I can find uh, Rising and Ronin Heart. Thank you, GameSpot. All right. Here goes some gameplay from GameSpot. IGN, they're, oh my gosh. Fucking stupid. You're supposed to just be showing us video of gameplay. Who told you to put in clips of Crouch and Tiger, Hidden Dragon trying to get our shit? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, everybody's like, oh, they closed it. They stopped the stream. <laughs> what happened to you guys? Jesus. All right. So there, there goes some some gameplay from uh, Rise of the Ronin right there. That doesn't look too bad. Like, but I, I, I think what it is is that Rise of the Ronin probably would have been a better single player experience. It's a single player game. Yeah, it should have been a single. I mean, it doesn't look too no, bad. Most, it, it's a single player game. You can just uh, summon people into your game. Yeah. That's like they did with Dark Souls. Dark Souls is a single player game with multiplayer elements that, that can enhance your game. But everything is balanced around a uh, single player. <sighs> yeah. N un unlike Hell Die was where, where I still think they should have a solo mode in that game. Like, what the fuck? Like, uh, why? Uh, why the uh, assuming you always want to play with other people? This doesn't look too well. No, um, I mean, I, I got no problem with it having an optional multiplayer. That is not my issue. My issue is when if you go almost full uh, Dark Souls anyway, then, then put the fucking PvP back in there. So let me check them. If it's still holding on at 76. Am, am I muted? Uh oh, no. Then why are you not saying anything? Like, you're you no, talking no, I'm while I'm, I'm talking. You, yeah, no, I'm letting you talk, brother. I was, I, I'm uh, looking up the Metacritic, too. Yeah, brother, it's, it's okay. You're, allo you're allowed to talk, man. I ain't going to do you like D, I'm not going to do you like RDX and D-Batch. Keep you in the basement. <laughs> Dylan, shut up. Shut up and praise Xbox. No, I was letting, I was letting you, letting you talk. Uh, Metacritic for... It's still holding in. Uh, it's still holding on at seventy six. But yeah, I, I'm. It, this gameplay looks better. But the thing that's getting me is, I don't. I don't see seventy dollars here. I definitely don't see seventy dollars. Like that's no. No, there's there, there's not enough fl fluidity in the open world experience. It it it, it just it, visually it's 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 not impressive. Like, you know, if if you're gonna charge me seventy dollars, 
I, I feel like there are two things that have to at least be there. Um, number one, performance. So yeah, right. What that means, this generation is a performance mode. Um, and secondly, visuals. Like, okay, give me some visuals that are using some of the latest technology. Maybe not everything. It ain't got to be the best looking thing ever. Like, it, you know, oh no, this is the number one look, but it, it needs to be Post. in that arena. Let's let's actually put up a poll between Drake's dog and uh, this fucking dog shit. Let's let's see what the people are gonna want. What the hell is going on here? Oh, that's, I was about to get scared, man. I was about to say, what the fuck is going on? How come I can't uh, put up a poll? But it's that damn. Oh, okay, all right. So now I gotta go. Jeez Louise, go live. I'm on YouTube. Stop being weird. Okay, there we go. All right. So yeah, let's do that. Let's put up a poll. Oh, what is that? Participants, timestamps, pop out chat, moderation activity. Oh, okay, that's cool. Okay, I, I never knew that was there. All right, so yeah, let's let's put up a poll. Um, start a poll now. Now, or what are we? Are we asking them which game we should play, or which game th th they generally prefer? Yeah, which game they prefer? So we're asking I mean, just basically what they're going to pick up, what they're likely to pick up. Look, the only thing we can play together is Rise of Roll. Yeah, <laughs> we can't which play. Dragon's Dogma together. It's a single player. We can have our uh, our pawns be in our team. That we can do, but not more than that. Or likely to pick up. Rise. Around, well, maybe I should ask them. Well, now, I sit around and drag it down. Dogma two. All right. Yeah, I, I. Yeah, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing bad stuff for Dragon's Dom, Dogma outside of the 30 frames per second, which is bad enough. <laughs> which is a major disqualifier for me. What? What? What is this? Just like an ad or something like that. Oh, that's from Factual Life. What you had right now. Uh oh. Uh, See, okay. that, that that looks good. Like th this cutscene looks fucking good. Yeah. And then the actual game looks like fucking trash. Mm hmm. I mean, it needs some consistency, bro. Like. If you go uh, into cutscene in Final Fantasy yeah, and go back yeah. into gameplay, yeah. it's almost seamless. Almost. Yeah. 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 You. You. Yeah. There shouldn't be distinct differences between your cutscenes and. Uh, this is, okay. Let's go back. Um, so we played all of that. That was only five minutes. Um, let me see. Does Eurogamer, I think Eurogamer has, um, or I think they're actually playing right now. Eurogamer. Uh, I thought, no, they're playing, ah, uh, no, they're playing Dragon's Dogma. I thought they had Rise of the Ronin. Five. Oh, that's Dragon's Dogma. Let's see. Do they have Rise of the Ronin? No. All right. Uh, let's try Game Informer. In these bigger sites, we won't get in, in trouble. Game Informer. These bigger sites, they're less likely to not be giving a shit if you show their 
Nope, and Game Informer. What the fuck? What what games do they have on Game Informer? What the hell is this shit? Okay, all right, let me put Prince of Speech number one. Yeah, <laughs> the Ronin. Uh, gameplay. Uh, uh, let me see. Hot no, no, I'm not going to any other creator. Final pre. Nope, can't can't do IGN because they're freaking goofy. Um. Hey, this is a hands on. This is a spot preview. I don't feel like. <sighs> Damn it. I don't know if I can trust this either. Let's see. No, was that what, what I was just showing? What they had to. Yeah, no, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. Okay. I must have somehow inadvertently watch this all right there we go okay that's what you've been showing us the whole time oh before where they had I, the freaking the IGN review <laughs> what I showed uh the other time was the game spot review that I just showed before I went to feral life now I was showing something from IGN a like 16 minute gameplay and they were doing their goofy shit where they like to put in clips from copyrighted content. But I'm look, I'm, I'm browsing through this. This looks safe. Okay. So yeah, I'm unimpressed visually. Um, combat doesn't look bad, but I don't know. Everybody so far uh, is is. I, he I heard the that uh, the enemies are very. Uh tanky and it's much easier to just kill them in stealth oh oh okay well i guess yeah you have that option if you want to go and uh approach them you know stealthily and, and just take them out you can do that but you know if you want to if you want to try some some parrying combat you can go ahead and do that i mean that's fine it's not a problem I just I don't I don't see seventy dollars is 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 the problem. Jonathan said, "Which one are y'all getting? What game are y'all gonna play though?" Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, we will we could take suggestions, but right now, as far as uh, co-op games, um, there's really nothing else out right now at the moment that we can think of. Suicide Squad. Oh shit! Yeah, right. That'll definitely be a waste of money. <laughs> That'll definitely be a waste. <laughs> but, but, we but only the ultimate edition at a hundred dollars. Yeah, right. <laughs> That'll be dog. That's dog shit. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I know you guys originally wanted us to do something co-op. Um, well, Cold Blood, he's still going to be playing uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and I don't know. It seems like it's a, he's not going to be getting into another single-player experience until he's done with that. Um, I don't know if you guys would want us to get uh, Dragon's Dogma. He play it. I, I show it off on GFN. I don't know. I can't think of anything else. Because I'm going to let you know right now. I mean, if we get this game, we're not playing. <laughs> it, doesn't look, it don't look like we're playing it, man. I, you know what I mean? I, I, I hate to tell you, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to. You know, it's one thing when we're doing Foamy Fridays, right? Those are those are single streams you know what i'm saying you know yeah i gotta finish peppa pig and laugh at the brother dinosaur and shit like that but then you know i go take a <laughs> i go take a cold shower and shit <laughs> you know what i'm saying and oh here we go yeah yeah this is this is this fucking stupid fucking okay all right 
so yeah um yeah i i, I go do that and then we we move on uh i don't know you guys have a suggestion he says maybe the gameplay will be redeeming for ronin i don't know is it gonna be 70 dollars redeeming i don't think so. yeah yeah I just I, I just don't think it's a in my opinion. I don't know. Why is why is there two? I don't know if it's gonna be a worthwhile investment. Let me put this let me put this comment back up there. Okay. That's so weird. Why is it showing up over here? Um, he said, what's, uh, okay. yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's, that's some I'm, good. I'm going to say it. No, mm -hmm. rise of Ronin sh should have been day one on game pass. <laughs> uh, wow. I mean, am I lying? No, it it's, it's yeah. It, it gives me Wulong vibes. It's like co-op co -op Wulong vibes. That's what it gives me. And I know people are like, well, Wulong is fantastic. And I'm not doubting that it is, but what Wulong was what, like a $50 game or some shit like that? Oh, it's a normal game. Yeah, I don't, I, yeah, this, this is not $70, man. And I just personally, I, 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 I see issue with supporting, um, something this blatantly non triple a like, uh, yeah, dragons, dragons dogma got problems too, you know, when it comes to that offering a performance mode but yeah i i and from what we saw before of rising ronin i did not think that this was <laughs> this was going to be the this was going to be the output um yeah so i i don't know about that one i don't know i mean Maybe we can get, what if we did get your more, favorite YouTuber say about it? Um, who, who, who's that? Who are you talking about? Uh, e, e, e back Gaming. e back Who the hell is that? Oh, you talking about? Oh, you. <laughs> no, he um, Reforge said that he wasn't uh, he wasn't impressed from it with it from the beginning he said it looked janky to him from the beginning like i was like, on, the, on, on, the, on the same page then. <laughs> he actually got he actually got the score right on the nose he he said 76 he's like yeah this is gonna be a low he's like this is gonna be a mid to low 70s game and he had predicted 76 I and the other, I on the other hand was like, I, don't, I mean, it's like, I don't think it's going to be great. I mean, I don't, well, I didn't say I didn't think it was going to be, I didn't think it was going to be phenomenal, but I was like, I don't think it's going to be that low. I was like, I think it's probably going to be like an 83, 84 game. <laughs> was I wrong? I think the scores are too high on what I'm seeing. I mean, maybe, and maybe it's wrong. Maybe it's wrong. Maybe the, like, maybe the, 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 the gameplay is redeeming. I don't know. But me personally, when I'm scoring this thing, like when you say seventy dollars, that means something. That's why I'm so hard on Redfall, and in no way, shape, or form am I saying like this is a Redfall moment. But you put that seven, you put that new seventy dollar price tag on it, man. There's expectations. I don't see it. I do not see it. Like and I'll and I'll pay seventy dollars 
for a version of a game that's triple a that looks good that has the boxes checked and like for instance for dragon's dogma no i'm not i'm not paying 70 dollars for it on console if i'm gonna pay 70 dollars for it it's gonna be on pc you know what i mean like that's the definitive experience to get the 70 dollars worth out of it I'm looking online, man. They are. They are fricassee, fr fricassee eating this thing. Moot says people are getting fatigued by the gameplay and level design of Team Ninja, but I've enjoyed their games the past two generations. Wolong's review scores didn't vary much from what we're seeing here with Rise of the Ronin. From what I've seen, uh, from what I've seen. Well, I mean, it's mixed. It's mixed, and when you have mixed, you're gonna you're gonna land around seven and a half. I, I think by every by the time everything is said and done, this game is gonna be a seventy five. It seems like it's mixed. It's like there are people that are like, "Oh, this is great. This is an eight out of ten. and then there's people that are like, "Nah, this ain't it, Bucko." That's what I'm seeing more of. Like it, it's it's mixed. Is Variety's review fair? Variety? What, they, what did they give it? You know? Yeah, I'm here. Did, what, what did they give it? Go to the damn bottom. Right. Holy cow. They must, you know, they must really be at the bottom. Oh. Yeah, oh yeah. Rise of the Ronin is a much better game in theory than it is in practice. Falling short with outdated graphics, hacking, combat, and painfully generic characters. Mm. Um, is that fair to, to give a game 50 with, with a review like this? I, I guess. I mean, they. They said nothing good about the game whatsoever. Well, of course not, but uh, in my opinion, you should be elaborating just a little bit more. I think that's just their snippet review. Let's see their full review. Yeah, that, those right there are just the snippet reviews. Rise of the Ronin squanders. Oh yeah, they, yeah, they got some. Rise of the Ronin squanders a promising concept with clunky combat and unspired. Here. Let me oh, I keep forgetting. Okay, what the frick just happened? Here we go. The Rise of the Road and Squanders a promising concept with clunky combat and an uninspired story. Um, oh, we can listen to the article right now. Let's listen and see what they say. Hold on. Instead of me trying to be the librarian and read this shit. Uh, let's see what they say. Just a quick word from our sponsor. Oh, it is Ryan here, okay. and I have a question. I got to mute that shit. Because uh, I got a sponsor. Oh, like, why, why are they trying to shut down our channel? <laughs> why are they trying to shut us down? Yeah, do us a huge favor. Tweet this out. Let, let everybody know that we're live. Okay, hold, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Now they're playing. Okay, so let's go. I'm back and an uninspired story video game review by Katzi Stefan. Spoiler alert this review discusses minor plot details and gameplay elements from Rise of the Ronin. Rise of the Ronin, the latest release from Neo developer Team Ninja, is one of the most highly anticipated game releases of the year, promising a high-octane role-playing story combining Eastern and Western combat styles. From its announcement, Rise of the Ronin drew inevitable comparisons to Sucker Punch's critically acclaimed 2020 release Ghost of Tsushima. It's understandable, although Ronin takes place about 600 years after Ghost, both follow samurai warriors in Japan as they swing their swords in an action-adventure open world. Unfortunately, Ronin never rises to the same level of excellence, plagued by clunky combat and an uninspired story. 
when the game begins, players assume control of two characters, Faded Blade Twins, a dual warrior unit for the Veiled Edge, specially trained by the Kurosu clan to oppose their shogunate overlords. They were brought together when their native village was destroyed by shogunate spies and torn apart again in the tutorial level during an assassination mission gone awry. After designing both twins in an impressively detailed character creator, users must choose only one of them to play as moving forward, while the other is critically injured and taken away. Although the desire to reunite with a loved one is a classic trope, the bond between these twins isn't fleshed out enough to make the player really care. The main character you select is only known as protagonist, and that nameless nature is the perfect metaphor for their bland journey. I first <laughs> believed my warrior was completely silent and actually felt blindsided the first time she spoke in a cutscene, I'd soon learned this was a rarity. A silent protagonist can certainly work, with Link from the Zelda franchise serving as a prime example. But when the lead of Ronin is surrounded by equally forgettable allies and making nonsensical decisions that will affect the future of Japan, it seems fitting that she only speaks once in a blue moon. Choices are at the heart of the game, as you must decide whether to align with the pro-shogunate or anti-shogunate faction. At the heart of the conflict, as presented to the player, is the idea of Western foreigners entering Japan. From the start, I decided to back the anti-shogunate rebels, but the game had other ideas. While you make hundreds of choices that seemingly affect your Always journey, you're Americans. also forced into dozens of <laughs> missions that completely contradict your decisions. For example, you can follow along with the rebels and then immediately be thrust into a main story mission that sees you slay rebel forces in the name of the shogunate. It's hard to feel like your choices have any impact when your protagonist can't seem to choose a side. Let's move on to the combat. It seems the developers threw everything but the kitchen sink at this overloaded system. Players can choose from 10 different primary weapon types and half a dozen sub-weapons. Each weapon has a host of customizable combat styles, which can be adjusted mid-battle to target each enemy's weakness. In theory, this sounds great. However, in practice, the combat is clumsy and highly repetitive. The key to staying alive in battle is the counterspark, a parry that allows you to repel an enemy's attack and deplete their key meter. Once their key is depleted, they can no longer perform actions, giving you the opportunity to deploy a devastating critical hit. Players can also employ the use of shuriken or a handgun to even the odds. Most battles felt exactly the same as the previous one. By the end of the game, I found myself simply running past enemies instead of engaging in the same sword fights I'd spent hours doing. Enemy variety is also severely lacking, with most missions consisting of a horde of two to three sword-bearing fighters attacking at once. The only variation in the mix comes from brute-type enemies, but I've got a bone to pick with them, too. Other games have, of course, used brutes, heavies and the like as an extra challenge, but the Ronin equivalents must be at least 10 feet tall and as wide as five men. In a game that doesn't have any kind of supernatural element, I was left wondering where these superhuman beings came from. Forgive me for joining in the ghost comparisons, but each battle had me longing for its streamlined stances and slick movement. The protagonist can bring a menagerie of allies into battle, each one less interesting than the last. Maintaining relationships with them outside of combat strengthens player stats, but even that falls into another boring formula, give them a gift, wait a couple hours, then give another gift. I can't say there was a single conversation that made me feel drawn to any of the characters, and there are a lot. Even in the game's third act, new allies are being thrown your way. Ronan should have considered creating fewer, more compelling characters with much better voice acting, instead of a circus of wooden nobodies. In the open world, <laughs> players can discover citizens in need of help. Completing these encounters helps strengthen the bond with a given area, but they get old fast. The same variation of three or four scenarios tends to happen over and over again. If we have For example, all our creeps go like the this, just there's a read out by some bot. Nearby, only to turn on the protagonist <laughs> and attempt hey, to if Phil can do it, we can follow. do it. <laughs> the first time this happened was fine. The 15th, I wasn't so surprised anymore. To be fair, the game's not all bad. Fun side quests like cat collecting, finding stray cats and cuddling them, and searching for shrines to earn upgrade points or bright spots in this otherwise underwhelming attempt. This AAA game with a $70 price tag should mm. deliver more. Unfortunately, yeah. Rise of the Ronin is a much better game in theory than it is in practice, falling short with outdated graphics, hackneyed combat, and painfully generic characters. 
Rise of the Ronin is out now on the PlayStation 5. Score, 5 tenths. Mm. Just so, a quick word from our... Uh, you know, no more word from our sponsor. So, basically... When you hear that, when you see that, uh, this little paragraph, Cold Blood, that's always their summary, like the little ending summary of the of their full review. But I mean, well, it's unprofessional to mention the seventy dollars in the review. I'm sorry, very unprofessional. Think so? Yes. Why is that? No reviewer should ever mention that. It should be uh, the customers afterwards saying, okay. From this review, I I think it's not worth the seventy dollars, but not the reviewer himself because uh, I I find it unprofessional. So, um, and it goes into fanboy ter territory at, at at that point. No, I I no, I mean. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I, that yeah, that is I, a fa that is fanboy talk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't and it's know. fighters I mean, bro I don't know I mean I, 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 I don't agree with that one at all because um, even if it's a multi like Dragon's Dogma that, that's a multi -plat. so if I'm looking at that and I'm like if I give you like they gave you everything that they why they thought it was a problem and if they're saying look if you're sticking a $70 price tag on this game I'm expecting you to have this as a basis, you know, like I'm expecting performance mode. Or I'm expecting this like they could still say, you know, it's a good wait, game wait, wait. and maybe uh, it's still worth that, it. But because that $70 bullshit, nobody mentioned that with Dragon's Dogma and it being uh, only for the FPS. I mean, they yeah, they haven't because well, I don't know. I, I don't. I haven't read every single uh, review, but when it, it, when I do a review, oh hell yeah, because I, that's the standard. But I, you, I, you I can, uh, all my fanboy, of course you do that. <laughs> well, no, I'm doing that with Dragon's Dogma. I'm not a I'm not a Capcom hater. <laughs> I, I, you know, it, it's nah, that's. Yeah, it, 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 you, we can't. You are not the dude. You are not the site or something. You're on the review site. Yeah. I just expect the review site to review the game without uh, having to worry about the price tag. Mm. Nah. Because that, I... that shit is something that, like I said, that the consumer has to worry about afterwards. Mm. I mean, the consumer didn't have to. I, I... When you're when you're giving a review, in my opinion, you're setting expectations of that reviewer. Like this is this is how I'm gauging this game. This is what I'm expecting from this game. No, but and the, here's but why. the fifty. No, look, the the fifty out of a hundred sounds very fanboyish. And and mentioning the seventy dollars in your review makes you even more. Uh, more suspect of being I wouldn't a fanboy. Know. I, I mean, I wouldn't say fanboyish. I mean, they probably don't like these type of games. I mean, who knows? It could be. It could. I, I don't. I'm just. What I'm saying is. They were right. They got, uh, reviews. What did they review other games from Sony? Uh, variety. Hold on. Let's see. Um. I'm not saying Variety is wrong on this one. I'm just saying it sounds very much like a fanboy world. Uh, watch the TV. Let's see here. Heck. Meetings. Video. See, yeah, they don't really have games spliced out. Let me see if I can find something on Metacritic, though, from them. You just have to go to Metacritic on, on, on their shit. Uh, and it shows you every single meta score they ever gave. So, Miller's Crossing, Last Waltz, Facing the Music, Latana, Kala, yeah, Confidential. No shit. And, and and then please look at those games. 
that this individual gave a hundred to. That is also important. Okay, so Metal Gear Solid Four Guns of the Patriot. They gave a hundred to. Wasn't that was that a multiplayer? No. Oh. But that was oh, yeah. PS3 era, bro. Yeah, PlayStation. That is long three. time ago. All right, let's let's so let's uh, PlayStation Five God of War Ragnarok. They gave a hundred. Uh, Last of Us Part Two Remastered. They gave a hundred. <laughs> like that's what I'm saying. I I I. Okay, I no, don't, no, 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 no. I I take I take it back then. Yeah, Marvel Spider Man Two. They gave ninety five. Like some people just have standards. And they associate it to a price tag, and I think that's no, look, fair. It just sounded very suspect. That's all. Yeah. Now, that's all I, I will agree with you that fifty pro is probably too harsh. But what I would what I would assume is they probably gave that game to the wrong person to review. Like that person probably that's like given like if you were to give me Demon Souls the review is going to be extremely harsh because i'm not into those type of games it's going to be harsher than what a typical demon soul score would be and that's probably know, not what, fair what is going to be next for your games that you're going to play <laughs> like they gave gears what was that oh, but that was that was a while gears saints Row <laughs> someone was... someone vote for demon souls remake Please. Yeah, <laughs> Next <right>. week. <laughs> <laughs> I will kill y'all if y'all do that shit. I mean, it's not Foamy Friday. It's not like the game is bad, it, but it would be frustrating. So I guess, you know, that would fit into it as well. If y'all vote for Demon Souls, I will kill y'all. Because uh, <laughs> that game, that I played that game for like 10 minutes and I was like, oh, this, this is not the game for me. Uh, yeah, they don't have any games of the modern era from Xbox up here. So, yeah, they have none. <gasps> Excuse like, me. Like I said, I, I apologize and take it back. Yeah, I'm cool with, yeah, I'm, I, I, me personally, this, this is, I mean, the only reason why I was pressing back Cold Blood is because I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see like you, I mean, you are right. Most of these publications will not talk about the price tag, but I, I think right now we're, we, we talked about it with Dragon's Dogma. I mean, you're hearing about bugs and to you, it's, it's like they're testing us now, which I, I kind of like agree with that sentiment. It's like, okay, I'm going to provide this when I know if I'm slapping $70 on this game, I should pr be providing all of this, you know? Um, but we're going to see if they're still going to buy it. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I, I think people that are listening to this, they're probably saying to themselves, cold blood. Oh man, they're not going to buy rise of Ronin. We want to see them play it. But what I'm, but it's twofold. Number one, we don't think that we should take your contributions and play something that we're not going to enjoy that, you know, on, if we, if by looking at it, we're like, nah, we're not going to enjoy this you know because even if we forced ourselves to finish it you're not going to be entertained <laughs> you know it's different from me playing peppa pig knowing that the experience is going to be god awful and we're trying to get laughs opposed to where you guys are hearing me and cold blood's banner going back and forth him cussing me out what the fuck are you doing get over here you know what i'm saying like that's different that's like a sense of urgency entertain we're playing the game that we're enjoying the experience together me and him playing something that we don't like i mean we're gonna be sighing and gasping and i mean the shit is stupid you know what i mean it's not gonna be enjoyable at all you know what i'm saying um so we don't want to waste your efforts like that and secondly it comes down we we, we gotta have standards as a channel man and cold blood and i talked about this in unison um, we don't feel like rewarding bad behavior. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not going to sit there and say, well, let's still try it if we feel like that there's a cash grab happening. Like, is it a horrible game? Pro probably not. 
maybe the seven the seven and a half is correct but yeah you are charging 70 dollars for this shit like yeah in cold blood i think you said it yourself you're like what was sony thinking you know what i'm saying not just about the price but just green lighting something that looks like this what were they thinking if this was a cross-generation game that came out at the begin, beginning of the year for 60 bucks, okay, whatever. But a PlayStation 5 exclusive title for $70? I, I, I just don't know, man. I can tell you right now, uh, Silent Hill 2 is going to be the next game. I'm like, what the fuck is Sony thinking with this one? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I do agree that the 50 score is kind of, it's like, it, it, you know, I mean, like, come on now, like, that's Redfall territory. So, I, yeah, I think they went a little bit too extreme there. Um, and, and I think that's another review where the score doesn't match the comments. Like, I don't know if somebody from Sony slept <laughs> with with the reviewer's wife or some shit like i don't know and he, and he just discovered it the day he was writing that review i don't know but yeah the, the 50 is kind of fucking low but i don't i mean again i haven't played the game i don't know how accurate it is i mean well, no 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 i can't tell you one inaccuracy in, in, in his review where he's talking about the, the big people and he was like, he doesn't understand why those big people are there because, you know what I mean? And I guess he's trying to match up to the, the, to the realism of Ghost of Tsushima. But my thing is, is that we just saw gameplay where the motherfucker had a, a sword engulfed in electricity. That's not realistic. So I don't, I don't understand what they're talking about. And secondly, that's what I think happened, Cold Blood. Whoever played this game loved Ghost of Tsushima and went into this game expecting a, an open world Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> they were vigorously disappointed. But you shouldn't well, have done that because it was never marketed that way. You have to remember that Ghost of Tsushima is just seven points higher on meta that is true i mean yeah of course the uh the director's cut got an 87 mm. or something mm. but it also got way less reviews than the yeah, launch the version of it on playstation 4. yeah that is true uh, i mean i don't know what, what are you thinking right now cold blood what are you thinking I mean, if it was for free, I, I would immediately play it. <laughs> said, yeah, I'll play it. Because <laughs> god damn. <laughs> for, for $70, or in my case, 80 euros. Yeah. That is a big ask. Like, we can, fi we, 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 we can find a better way to create a scenario. Trust me. As much as y'all think that y'all would enjoy us playing that, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Oh, they um, would enjoy it, bro. <laughs> it's us yeah. that wouldn't enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're going to find something. We're definitely going to find something. We're definitely going to find something. But yeah. yeah. And, and before the, the comments come, we don't care if you enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you motherfuckers don't come and watch it, then you do care. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like. <laughs> yeah, man. That. That is disappointing. I did think that this game was going to score in the 80s, and I did think it was going to be a good experience. I, I did think it was going to be something that I, I would enjoy, you know, but it, it seems to be a very shallow game. That's what I'll say. I, I think that's a good way to describe it. There's some other shit that I saw here, like in, in regards to the jankiness. I was sitting in cold blood. I wanted to share with, uh, like, this shit looks janky as fuck, bro. I'm sorry. Show them. Show them. This shit looks janky as fuck. Uh, here we go. Like, look at this gameplay, dude. 
like this. <laughs> like I, I, I don't know. Look at that. That just. That 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 looks like early PlayStation Four, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> that fucking <laughs> <balls>. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking horse has hemorrhoids and shit. <laughs> He's just trying to make sure it don't, it don't move his back legs at a, at a, at a hurtful angle. Yeah, this was this is like early PlayStation Four, man. Like what what is this shit? Yeah, man. Look at uh, look at the soldier, like you know, just. Yeah, man, I'm not. Nah, look, look how he, re he rotates on the dime like that. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, we ain't doing this. I'm sorry, y'all. We don't cap here. We we prefer PlayStation, but we do not cap here. They're mad. I think they're mad at us too. They're like, why are you? Why are y'all talking about PlayStation like this? Nah, we we don't do no fucking capping here, y'all. You know. Couldn't care less if some PlayStation fanboy doesn't like what I have to say. Exactly. Exactly. Like, nah. We're, we're we have a preference because people because they're producing. The moment you don't produce, or we run into instances where you don't produce, yeah, we're 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 going to be on your ass. At yeah. thirty bucks, okay, maybe. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe. Exactly. After a lot of fucking patches. Yeah. <laughs> After you finally add the PlayStation 5 patch and shit. <laughs> then yeah, maybe. But god damn. Yeah, you would have to put that on PC and mod the fuck out of that shit. And even then it's not gonna look any better. <laughs> Well, I gotta give Cold Blood his I gotta give Cold Blood his flowers live on air. He did. I was gonna pull the trigger, y'all, and just get it. And he had warned me. He said, "No, no, don't do it. No, 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 no." And I said, "Yeah, you know that that's fair, you know." But I was like, "Yeah, we'll wait for it." But I'm, I'm, you know, I'm confident this is gonna be good. <laughs> I was like, oh, this got a know, performance mode. I, 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 I have the eye for uh, for JKS games. <laughs> yeah, it's you and Re you and your you and Reforge, man. See, I told you Reforge was cool. Yeah, he got he got the score right on. He said, <laughs> he's like, I ain't trying to hear that shit. Uh, yeah, he got he got the score right on the nose. He he guessed seventy six. If I'm lying, I'm flying. Yeah. I think with Reforge, it's the glasses that piss me off so much. <laughs> that, that, that that piss you off? He, wait, yeah, wait, is I, he, I is he nerdy? He's too nerdy. <laughs> no, it's because he shouldn't wear them. Oh, why is that? It, it, it's it's the ab absolute opposite. He, he's absolutely oh, no nerd, but, ha but ha man. has those nerd ass uh, oh. glasses. On. I think now I, I I enjoy his not to make this a I love Reforge gaming stream, but I like I like his content, man. I like his content. Um, Stop promoting him, good that. <laughs> the cold floods like shit. He's like, please. He's like, what? What do we get? I, I like his stuff. I like it. I mean, my favorite is Porter Rock, and then he's he's at his second. I like well, Porter P Rock. Rock is my my favorite PlayStation centric guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's well. No, uh, Porter Rock overall, because um, even though he's a PlayStation, uh, you know, enthusiast, um, he comes down to me. I mean, how? Okay. People are gonna uh, get mad. I would say I would say so Solo Z is still number one by far. I don't even know who that is. Solo Z. I gotta check. You gotta send me a link. I don't even know who that Dude, is. Dude, if when Z is uh, oh you said Z solo. Z. I thought yeah. you said Solo. <laughs> oh yeah 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 yeah. Oh no 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 yeah 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 yeah. Oh hell yeah yeah. But we we don't get Solo Z anymore. 
we might get him for like five minutes at a time when he's frustrated with the with, with the fucking the panel. Yeah, we don't get solo Z anymore. That back, thinking, back in the day, Z Z was oh was, just, was so funny, bro. Oh, <laughs> that's what Z need. Like Z needs to fucking do like anywhere between thirty minutes to an hour video of just him just breaking down this shit if he did uh, like two or three times a week my uh, my god yeah there is yeah 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 no no absolutely solo z <laughs> fuck that water <laughs> oh, man. those are some of the most iconic streams in streaming history um and you, oh, Exhibit I wish. You, a. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Oh, with fucking, oh god. And with you, I wish you. Oh yeah, the pirate versus Kratos. Oh. He's <laughs> 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 <It's> just trash. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, bro. Those streams. Were I, I remember being in the trenches when he was making those streams, and then uh, they would come after Z because we used to be cool with what well, broadband bullies used to be cool with info media game. That's that's um, what are you intro media, whatever that was. Uh, one Mr. 100 and K Mega and all them, we was cool with them. We were just we were we were like friendly rivals, but. They got, they started getting, when C and Thieves came out, they couldn't take it. When C came out, when Z was dogging C and Thieves, they couldn't take it. That, that broke the, that's what, that's the straw that broke the camel's back. Is when he started dogging C and Thieves. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And of all games, of all games for Xbox to like lose their shit over with Sea of Thieves. I, I blame crap for this. Mm. Yeah. Crap oh crap was oh my god. Game of mm. the generation. <laughs> and it was the crap and mooch interview where Rare revealed that the reason why the game looked so shallow and so shabby at launch. Is because they wanted it to be playable on any PC, like even a 480. You know, even if you had like a 480 resolution, like they want, they wanted the game to be simple as possible because they wanted playable everywhere. That was the mind of Phil, and that was Phil's involvement. Like Phil approached Rare and wanted them to have the game. Now this was all according to Crap Show and and. and um, stuff that they had heard him and Mooch that Phil had approached Rare and was like, "Look, no, we want this game to remain simplistic so it could be playable everywhere." And you know they wanted it to support, or you know they they were testing it a lot on four four eighty resolution. Like they wanted it, they wanted everybody that had a device that you could plug into a wall to be able to play this game, and that's why it was so simplistic at launch. And Phil thought it was great. So that lets you know the mind of Phil. That lets you know the type of person that you're dealing with. Like you're saying, right Rise of Ronan was greenlit by Phil Spencer? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it wouldn't surprise me. Man, when we, <laughs> man, that, that, that game is great. I don't, this game is so great. I don't, don't, I don't deserve it. I'm giving it to Sony. <gasps> right, yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Um, yeah, y'all. So I don't know. Um, what does the we're verdict? not the verdict is? Yeah, I don't, I don't think we, yeah, we're not getting Rise of Ronin. Um, we'll figure not out something all, else. All right now. No, I, I would say right now, we're not getting it right now. Um, I mean, you never say never. You know what I mean? Something could happen—a big ass sale, like you know, 
I don't I don't know if this game is going to do well. Especially that Dragon's Dogma is dropping soon. Or the same day, I mean. I this, this thing might hit a heavy discount soon. If it hits a heavy discount soon, and like you like Cold Blood said, some patches or some shit, you know, some quality of life stuff. All right, sure, fine. But right now at launch, no. I, I just don't feel comfortable. Like it just it, it doesn't even settle well with me. I don't nah. You you can't give us this shit for seventy dollars, man. You just you can't. got duped again. <laughs> you can't give us this shit for seventy dollars, so. No. Yep. But okay, y'all. Uh that's the verdict. That's what we're gonna do. Um, Cold Blood, did you have any plans on streaming today or were you Oh, okay. All right. Um So I guess Cold Blood is gonna come back later. Oh yeah, the reason why I couldn't I, I didn't come back Cold Blood yesterday, because right after I ate, I got my email about Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. And I and I had to and, and I had to go to work at at, at four, um, but I was spending that time as soon as I got done eating. I was trying to finesse them for a code. They weren't having it, so. Um, you make making uh, fucking ads for them, and you still don't get a code. <laughs> no, they didn't. They they didn't. They're not giving out any codes. I don't think Capcom was playing playing well with them this week. We got to see if um, we even got to see if um, when the game is going to go up in comparison when, in, in comparison to when it'll be available on GeForce Now. Like I'm going to wait and see before I I, I make any uh, my, my own personal moves. I'm going to wait and see how it performs there. But if they pull out that magical. Uh, GeForce Now sauce. That motherfucker is 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 a locked uh, 4K 60 man. Oh shit! It's that's that's going. Be. We'll see. Oh man, we'll see. That's a good question. Yeah. That uh, that should be the next poll. Y'all think? Yeah, we ain't got enough people here. Um, do we do we think it'll be a locked 60? On um, GeForce Now Ultimate, we'll see. Not that we will 4K definitely. S- What'd you say? Um, not that 4K <laughs> everything match. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Nope. We will definitely see. For forty ninety uh, can barely run it at. Uh, yeah, but yeah, forty ninety can't can't keep this. But them super pods, man. See what y'all gotta nah. understand is because nah, this is running in a no server. No super pods in you. Nah, don't it, push it. it. <laughs> when when it's because it's being run in the server, it's getting some extra juice in that CP in in, in the processing. So we'll see. Push it. We will it's see. Like, it's like you you've been capping for a second GPU in the Xbox. <laughs> we'll see because uh that'll be huge if that motherfucker can do 4k 60 on top top notch settings that's gonna be quick because well it'll be more like overdrive mode on uh um what do you call it um um, I'm I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be able to put everything on ultra. And, and without D- DLSS, right? I don't know if you'll be able to put everything on ultra. We'll see. Well, I mean, there's still. Well, I don't know about the DLSS pods, because bro. they're they're reflex. What about the super pod? The re- <laughs> yeah, Well, yeah, that, that's part of the reflex. You don't. They don't need DLSS because uh, that reflex technology, bro. The super pod version of the re like the re the reflex technology in GeForce now is different from the reflex technology in the actual physical GPUs. So you didn't know that. Dude, the reflex, reflex te- just, just 
just for input, man. The reflex technology is um is uh actually more powerful because it's in the it's in the cloud. So there's gonna be games for GeForce now that <laughs> are gonna be reflex that they're gonna have that reflex technology in it that they're not gonna have in the hard and they're not gonna have for the even the 4090 cards. So yeah, the blade yeah you lies. <laughs> no, dude, this is this they had a meeting with us last year and they went over this technology and I, I did a video on it because they said it wasn't nda they said we could share it and they said that the reflex technology and the video geforce now on the super pods is more powerful than the ones <laughs> natively <laughs> and it's widely that's supported that's okay. <laughs> we'll see if that much i want it you know what if i am right then you have to then you have to do a foamy friday game <laughs> we're gonna pick a foamy we're gonna make it foamy thursday or something if if g force now put your you, money you where know your that mouth I is. Love punishment. you know that i love punishment so for me it's, if, go, it's gonna be enjoyable <laughs> and, and, and put your put your money where your mouth is if if, if uh we'll, we'll we'll find a game oh i i'll oh i'll find the worst xbox Loving what, game. What I'm right that that you can play that 4K 60 everything maxed out. Then I'll play uh, um, yeah. Paw Patrol. No, no, no. Paw, Paw Patrol <laughs> is unlocked for tomorrow. <laughs> you ain't getting out of this one. No, 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 no. Well, no, I didn't say it was going. No, 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 no. See, now he's trying to change. I didn't say everything on Ultra. Now, it, 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 I know it ain't going to be able to do everything on Ultra. That's for sure. But it, it's not going to need DLSS. Um, I, I would say it could do 4K60 high with reflex on. Um, yeah, high settings. 4K60. If it drops even one FPS below 60, uh, you lost, right? Yeah, because it'll have to lock 60. Yeah. Lock 60 on high. <laughs> Reflex on. Yep. I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> oh, bro. Um, it won't drop unless you put it on ultra. Yeah, you see, you, you should have listened to that. <laughs> you should have you probably listened to that uh to to, to that podcast that it's it it high. That's why I didn't say ultra. On high, oh it'll maintain 60. It'll probably be like hovering in the 70s on high all right now now ultra oh hell no nah, no nah, you ain't gonna get me you ain't gonna get me there you ain't gonna get me on on, on ultra there's no way you, you you ain't getting me on fucking low you no no that's what's on high yeah no. <laughs> but on high yeah it could do high oh you're not ready for what i have in store for you <laughs> <laughs> yeah it could do high <laughs> You're gonna hate me for this. <laughs> okay. We will see. Which game are you? Oh, okay. So we we did. Uh, which game are you guys most likely to pick up? And and out of the votes we got, it was 100% Dragon's Dogma. Um. All right, y'all. Well, actually, 50%. The one one vote was from from me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, you matter too, Coldblood. You matter too. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me. I'm gonna grab something to eat. This time, I'm coming back. Uh, let me. Know, well, uh, how, how long do you estimate that you'll be be doing a stream today? How long? You would you need an hour? In, in, in half an hour, I can start. Half an hour. Okay. That's enough time for me to warm something up. Okay. All right, y'all. Well, we'll we'll see y'all back in a half an hour. Cold Blood is going to play some um, some more Final Fantasy Rebirth. Uh, I'll be in the background playing some Helldivers too. And uh, that is it. So we'll see y'all like around a little bit after 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, but thank y'all for joining us. Um, until next time, have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.